Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski, and this is Trailers from Hell. Movies that accurately capture the passion of the teenage years are very rare. Usually you can feel kind of the heavy hand of the grown-up screenwriter or director talking down to the kids. And the films that do get it right are often unfairly labeled as silly for taking it all so seriously. Such was the case for 1984's Reckless. Okay, this is about career day. The idea is goals. What do you want to be? What do you hope to get out of life? This movie has a bad rep, but I love it. It might be my favorite teen film of the early 80s. A lot of big talent behind the camera gets their first big break here. This is one of Chris Columbus's first screenplays. He was red hot at the time with this film, Gremlins, Goonies, all coming out on top of each other. It's one of superstar producer Scott Rudin's first credits. This is Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross director Jamie Foley's debut feature, straight out of USC film school. It's edited by Albert Magnoli, who went on to direct Purple Rain. Actually, this movie was a huge influence on rain. I mean, just check out the motorcycle in this trailer. Prince's producers actually wanted Foley to direct that film, but believe it or not, he wasn't into the music and convinced them to let his buddy take the helm. The two films have a similar energy. You know, kids trapped by the sins of their parents and the power of rock and roll setting them free. The best sequence in Reckless is a brilliant rock video-like montage uh, cut to Kim Wilde's classic Kids in America. The movie has heartfelt performances by Adrian Quinn, Ken McMillan, and a beautiful young Daryl Hannah. It was overshadowed at the time by the Brat Pack pictures, but it's pretty damn good and should be rediscovered today. Are you with me or not? Reckless. Yeah!